Hey everyone, Bethany here. Welcome back. In this video we will be making these cute flip-flop keychains. They are perfect for your keyring or your backpack um, and really perfect for summertime. Um, be sure to check the description. I have links to the yarn and hook that I used. Um, I also have links to my social media. I'd love for you to follow along and I'd love to interact with you. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so to make these cute little keychains you're going to need two colors. And you're going to start with the color that you want the sole of the flip-flop to be. Start with a slip knot. And then you're going to start with a chain nine. And then seal crochet three in the second chain from the hook. Then a single crochet in the next three chains. And then half double crochet in the next chain. And then double crochet in the next two chains. And then you're left with one chain at the very end and you're going to work seven double crochet in that last chain. Okay, so working your way down the other side of the chain, you're going to work a double crochet in the next two chains. A half double in the next chain. And then three single crochet stitches. One in each chain. and then join with the slip stitch with that first single crochet. It's a little tight. Okay, so that completes round one. Moving on to round two, you're gonna chain one, and then work two single crochet in the next three stitches. So we're going to do increases in the next three stitches around the toe. Okay, now you're going to work seven stitches up the side. Okay, and which brings us to the toe, and we're going to work five increases on the toe. So work two stitches in the next five stitches. Okay, and then work seven single crochet down the down the side. And 
and then join with that first single crochet with a slip stitch. Maybe this yarn tends to split a little bit. There we go. Okay, so for round three, we're going to chain one, single crochet, and then work the increase after that stitch. So work two in the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat the sequence of one and two. So work one in the next stitch, two, single crochet in the next stitch one in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, now work seven single crochet at the side. And then work that same increase sequence that you worked around the toe, or, or around the heel, around the toe. So work one here, followed by the increase after that stitch, two in the next one. One in the next stitch, two in the next stitch. And repeat that. How many times did we do it? Two, two times? Repeat it three more times. Okay, and then to finish out the round, you're going to work seven single, cro single crochet stitches. And then join with a slip stitch with that first stitch. And then you need to make a second sole. So cut the yarn on this one. Make a second sole, and then on the second sole, do not cut your yarn. Keep your yarn attached on the second one. Okay, so make your two soles, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we have our two sole pieces. I have one that's still connected. And I have my second piece that I've tied off. We're going to take the two soles and we're going to set them aside. Now we're going to start on the th the top of the like the, the thong piece of the of the flip flops. So you're going to say take your second color, put a slip knot in it, and then chain 18. So there's my chain of 18. You're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook, single crochet six more, And then work three single crochet in the next stitch, in the next chain. And then you're going to work nine single crochet stitches. Okay, so that those three single crochet stitches kind of make it bend there at the top, and then you can clip your ends. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're leaving kind of a long tail. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna get your one that's been tied off, and then you're just gonna sew it in place. 
So grab your darning needle. And you can just kind of eyeball it. Leave it leave it a little bit from the edge there so that you can because you're gonna be slip stitching around this edge when you have this once we complete getting this sewn on. So I sew the one edge down. And then the toe. And you don't have to worry too much about it being messy back here because you're going to sew the other one on top of it and it's going to be a clean edge. And then I've sewn the side and then the top and then you can come down using the same piece of thread, same piece of yarn. And then sew it together down here. Okay, so once that's sewn, you can tie off your ends, and then this one needs to go back as well. And then you're going to weave in your ends, and then we're going to get ready to sew that onto the bottom one. Okay, so we've got our tails taken care of, and now you're going to line up your two soles, and you're going to slip stitch them together. And I want you to start from this side, so that the stitch is on the bottom and the back side of the stitch is up here. And then... Let's see, make sure you're lined up. And then slip stitch 23 slip stitches. Okay, so there's our 23 slip stitches. So you're going to chain four and then continue slip stitching the rest of the way around. That's just your little loop that you're going to connect your keychain to. So continue slip stitching both the soles together. Okay, so there is the completed flip-flop. So I have a couple ideas for how to attach it. You can buy these and then attach it to the ring or you can use this ball chain and put it through that way, whichever, whichever way you prefer. Then weave in your ends and you have a super cute flip-flop keychain. I really hope you enjoyed making those cute flip-flop keychains. Um, if you liked the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more fun and cute crochet projects. And I will see you next time. Bye!